So it's moving day. Um, I was freaking out a little bit because I didn't know if, like, I over, I always underestimate how much it's gonna take. Um, I'm basically done packing though, so that's the best thing. But only the best thing, or I'm only done packing in time because the person I asked to help me move has not shown up yet. And I don't have a driver's license right now. It's suspended, so... I can't drive. I'm fucked. And I don't know what the fuck it is about Regions Bank or Uber, but, like, I mean, I know what it is. My dumb ass decided to do ACH payments, so, like, it's basically taking money from my bank account and routing number, not from my debit card, because I didn't have a debit card, because I had to file a dispute and get a new card, and I didn't have one for a week, and they don't have virtual fucking cards for Regions Bank. Doesn't make any sense. Point being is that it's taking it out via ACH, and it takes a few days. Long story short, I have hella pending charges on my account, so I literally only have, like, 20 bucks in my, like, available to use balance. And it's Saturday. I have to work tomorrow. It's Sunday, but that wouldn't matter because it's not like those things would fall off, blah, 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 until Monday. I also have to work on Monday. But I'm also supposed to be leaving today because today's the day I planned. So this person not coming and showing up is kind of throwing a wrench in everything. But that also, so lesson learned, hire a company. Hire or get a U-Haul yourself. But I can't drive, so I couldn't get a U-Haul, but hire a company. But also, I'm trying to save money, so I couldn't do that. Moving is expensive. <sighs> It's gonna be okay though. My solution for all this is to go upstairs, right above me, ask my father if I can borrow his van. You're probably thinking like, oh, but you can't drive. You're right, I can't. And ask him if I can borrow his van and then I'm gonna text either my cousin who's at work right now and doesn't get off till like 10 p.m. if I can pay him on Monday because that's when I'll have the funds to help me move the shit. You know, super last minute, super, super, just no one wants to fucking do that at 10 p.m. after to work or i can ask my other cousin who's actually my niece's friend but he lives here he's like a cousin anyway he's in the other room he's also fucking working bitch literally right now he does hair he's fucking well he does a lot of stuff but he's fucking doing someone's hair right now bitch and he's been up since early this morning bitch no one wants to drive me to the fuck place where i need to go <laughs> even if i pay them and i know that like they would help me. I know this, but I know my dad's going to fucking bitch at me for like, number one, getting an unreliable person to help. Number two, having to use his van. Number three, having to just understand the situation. Like he's just going to make it unnecessarily taxing. And then I know that like my cousins don't want to help. I know they would, but like, bitch, I wouldn't want to fucking do that. Even if I was getting paid, fuck that shit. Like I have to move all this shit to a place. And I have to come back and get my dog and move the rest of my shit to the place I'm actually going because I'm putting some of this shit, I'm storing some of this stuff. And while I understand all of this is my next alternative and the earlier I do it, the better, I'm vlogging here, freaking the fuck out, explaining it all. That actually kind of helped ease a lot of it now that I kind of put it all out there. But I realized that the fucked up thing about this whole situation is that I have another cousin who's here in Atlanta who has a vehicle... And I helped him move back in, I forgot what month it was, but point being is I helped him move. I helped him bring all his shit into the thing. I helped him twice, two days. And I'm not, like, I'm not saying that he wouldn't have helped me with, you know, proper notice, like whatever, all that jazz. That's, that, it's nothing on him, but it's like, you stupid motherfucking cunt ass bitch. Me. Why don't you have problem? Like, why don't like, you helped him? You should have asked him for help. He would have helped you. Like, why do you like? Why are you moving for like? I forgot how many times I've moved now. But why are you moving all of your shit by yourself when you know that you never have time to move all your shit by yourself? Like, you never can do this. And you know it always takes more time. You know you always have more stuff. You can depend on, but you can't depend on people, obviously, because that fucking motherfucker's late. <laughs> <laughs> Shy, what do we do? <sighs> that green stuff is Shy's bedding. In case y'all are wondering, people always ask that. I know that looks gross. <laughs> Shy, what do we do? He has no idea what's happening, nor does he care.
got on the fucking wrong train again, going the fucking wrong direction. <sighs> Not that I don't know my east and my west. I know my east and my west. It's just that <sighs> something's dope, 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 dope. don't fucking know. It's been less than three hours. Don't fucking judge me. I'm just coming running. Just running and asking questions later, bitch. Running and asking questions later. Bitch, I don't see no fucking bus. I don't see a motherfucking bus sign, no bus shit, no bus. Like, I'm not complaining too bad because it's the, all it's down here. Bitch, that is not where the... If I see a motherfucking bus come behind me, because <laughs> it should be here any minute now, I'm not running for the bus. I might, I might skip, I might eh, 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 a little bit because <laughs> I don't want to miss it. But, um, yeah, out here got me this one. Crazy. So, 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 I've officially moved out, well, I've unofficially officially moved out my father's place. I still have a few things there that I need to get, um, but I managed to get most of my shit out of there. And am I in my new place right now? No. I'm not in my new place. I don't have a new place. I'm with a friend right now. Yay. Uh, but I will be in a new place very, very soon. And that will be any day now. Um, I'm looking around, and I had a place. That place fell through. I another place, and that place fell through. I had another place, and that place fell through. So I decided I was just going to Airbnb it. And that's what we're going to do right now, because I have to get on with my life. And I felt like I trusted myself to know that, like, bitch, we have done all this shit before. We have gotten ourselves like, basically we have, we have done the hard work. We can do the hard work again. Like, it's like, it's hard, I can do it, whatever. And I left, cause no one thought I could. And by no one thought I could, I mean like, I just, I don't know. I won't get into that cause it doesn't really matter what people think. Oh bitch, I'm tired. Point being is that I got a storage unit. My second storage unit. My first one, I didn't pay. I kind of sold off the shit. It's a conversation for another day. Yeah. Honestly, last week, the last week of it, I legitimately had no idea that I was going to be getting another storage unit. It was not in the cards, was not in the plan until like a few, like two days ago, once I got here, I was like, you know what, bitch, we need a storage unit that's close by here. I can just drop all this shit off. And. Yeah, it's, it's all working out is what I'm trying to say, because I'm making it work. I'm just like, I'm really proud of myself. I think that's all that matters. I'm sorry I keep doing this, y'all. My skin fucking itches. I'm not sure if I was outside with mosquitoes or what. Bitch, where's the bus? Because I'm not supposed to be doing this, because I'm supposed to be saving money, but like, I'm about to call an Uber. But I'm actually, actually, no, I'm not going to, because I need to call an Uber. So my, all my shit's at my friend's place. I'm gonna call like two Uber XLs and I'm gonna just load them bitches up. And hope that the Uber, hope the Uber people don't say nothing. Because if I was driving, I used to drive for Lyft a few times. If I was driving for Uber, bitch, I would look at somebody trying to move it, like, use my vehicle to move their shit. I'd be like, now really, like, you have all this shit. You wanna? No, bitch. You gotta call some, call somebody else. Call you. Home. I can't call you home personally because I also owe you home. I owe everybody money. Again, dark times. Um, the story with U-Haul is that, you know how you get the truck and you rent the truck and you're supposed to take the truck back? I may or may not have taken the truck back. I may, I may, or, may, I may or may not have held on to the truck for like an extra week. Um, not because I was trying to steal it. 
honestly, I think I was dissociating. I got super depressed and I couldn't leave the house. And that's a terrible excuse, but like, yeah, I just had really bad anxiety. And then the bill was racking up. I didn't know what to do. It was like a whole thing. It turns out that they have trackers in it. One day I came outside to the U-Haul. The U-Haul wasn't there. So they took the bitch back and then billed me for like eight hundred dollars I owe them. So theoretically, theoretically, no, actually, it's not an admission of guilt. Just a bus, bitch. So this is how I am moving my shit via Uber, Lyft connection so I'm doing it y'all I made it to the fucking storage unit and fuck um trying to vlog at the same time probably isn't the smartest thing um, but in perfect, in perfect Julius fashion, do you know what I forgot to distort you? Shit, 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 shit. Hold on, y'all. Do you want to know what I forgot? Do you want to know what I forgot? Do you want to know what I fucking forgot? Keys, bitch! I'm supposed to be fucking taking the bus, bitch. I'm... <laughs> I called the fucking Uber XL. I had to do that part. But I forgot, bitch. The fucking Marta was a fucking bus that, like, could take me back to where I need to go. And it just drove past. It just drove past. $20 Uber coming versus $2.50. Oh, well. Yeah, I would have been able to been here faster. Oh. So, I'm back at the storage unit with my keys. Oh shit. <clears throat> I'm praying and hoping that my shit Yay! My shit's still here. <laughs> Thank fucking God, right? Thank fucking God. Everything I'm so lucky that everything is going exactly as I wanted to go. My shit was not taken or this is all fixed. It's all good. Now let's get the fuck out of here. I only have 1% battery left, but these motherfuckers, it's a new location I'm going to for work. I don't know the difference between Southeast on an address and Southwest. I went to the Southwest. It's actually southeast. Those are two very different things, and now I'm late as fuck. And it's not my fault because on the website it literally says the wrong address. Like, did I miss the mail? Did I miss the mail? And it's hot as fuck, and I'm itchy. My fucking skin is itchy. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm having an allergic reaction to something. And you know, this is just what I'm talking about. I try everything to be right. Everything. <sighs> and bitches just don't want to see me succeed. You know, if I had it my way, y'all bitches would be. <sighs> At least I'm getting my steps in. My outfit looks good. Not that it matters because, you know, there is no such thing as a summer body, winter body, fall body, but <laughs> skinny legend. So it's like 11.30 p.m. I'm at Cumberland Mall in some weird ass, creepy ass fucking, like, supply... It's the receiving fucking door for fist. The receiving door for like the mall. Cause my phone fucking died. It's eleven thirty p.m. I feel pretty safe though because there's a big ass camera right there, looking right at me. So somebody knows I'm here, and they either see that I'm charging my phone, and that I'm just a little baby who doesn't have no charge and they're allowing me to do this, or they're walking down here to be right now and be like, bitch, get your, get, get on, get on. I just need a few percent though to let my people know where I am. 
what's going on just in case I miss this bus because it comes at 12 and it's the last fucking bus. And I'm in the middle of no, well, Cumberland's not the middle of nowhere, but bitch, I'm in the middle of nowhere. So, out here trapping in these streets. <laughs> I think that, like, I've been with people who are like, my phone died and I can't do this and I can't do that and I can't do this and I can't do that. Like, yeah, I've been in that situation too, bitch, but look at me. It's the middle of the night, the mall's fucking closed, I'm fucking vlogging, and I'm about to fucking jump on this bus and use my phone to pay for the shit. My phone was dead and I charged it. <laughs> like, electricity is everywhere. You just gotta think about where the fuck outlets are. People don't use their fucking minds. Me knock on some... Pray to God, because, like, bitch, why should I say this? And then next week, I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere. Literally, I can't find shit, shit, shit. But you just gotta use your fucking brain. Like, y'all don't fucking think. I'm not sure why I'm so passionate about this subject, but, like... I thought about the mall. Hmm. The mall has outlets because receiving doors, like you have to have outlets there. Not necessarily have to, but like even this, for example, like during Christmas when they hang up like the garland and shit up on the signs and that shit lights up, the fuck you think they're plugging that shit into? There's typically plugs right there. If I couldn't have done that here, I would have gone over to one of these fucking hotels and sat in the lobby and charged my shit. Like, use your fucking heads, people. Be resourceful. <laughs> Oh, Cobb County Police now hiring. Well, 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 well. I also have been using my fucking head and, or I should have been using my fucking head and realized sometimes buses get there early. I didn't miss the bus, I didn't miss the bus. But it is here, so I was over there, the bus came. But, you know, I'm not missing it because it pulls off, Google Maps was like, it leaves at fucking 12, 12 midnight. And it's sitting right there, which means I didn't miss a fucking thing. Fucking bet, because here's the bus right here. Ah. Yeah. So the last few weeks have been absolutely fucking insane. Bitch, where am I going? How the fuck do I get out of here? Um, fucking insane. <laughs> Let's see, I moved twice. Um, I wasn't working, and then I was working. Um, I had no money, and then I did have money. When I say I had no money, I mean like I literally had zero dollars. Um, and at the same time, I was moving. <laughs> Cries. But it was okay, because I knew that more money was going to come in right away. And it did. So I only, only didn't have any money for like a day. Uh, when I say I moved twice, I mean like I was kind of couch surfing for a little bit there, for like a week or two. Um, on purpose, <laughs> because it's just something that had to happen. Um, and now I'm kind of temporarily at a new place. I don't really quite, I know, but I don't know. So the place that I really, really want to live in is not available until November. And I wasn't about to be couch surfing till November. So it was like fucking get an Airbnb rental, a hotel, but whatever it is, you can't go back to your dad's house. Cause I don't want, I can't, I can't fucking do that bitch. So I actually found somebody who would rent me their room out in their apartment week to week. Um, until November. And you know, I guess we haven't really talked about it, but theoretically, if I wanted to stay here, I probably could. It's just a little bit more money on my part. Um, the other place that I wanted to go live in originally, which won't be ready to November, which I don't really know. I, I'm not really the bitch that types. I'm not the type that moves around. I can't couch surf. I can't fucking be nomadic. I can't just be out here. Because y'all see how fucking chaotic <laughs> shit my stuff already is. So without that routine, bitch, I'm dead. All right, y'all know, know I'm out of shape and shit. So hold on, I'm walking up a hill. <sighs> not to mention that I've been late to work every day this week and they're about to fire me if I'm not getting get to work in time. So I'm on my way. Uh, so Loki's still running late. <sighs> I was actually making pretty good time, y'all. I, I was not gonna be late for work today. Oh, um, but the fucking bird, because I took a bird here, it was the fastest thing to do, taking a bird fucking ran out of battery here, not battery, it like fucking went out of the zone, so I couldn't. So now I was forced to call a fucking Uber black car. Hi. Hey, how you doing? How are you? Okay, basically, um, the bird ran out of range, or sorry, I'm getting dressed for work right now. The bird basically, 
such a chaotic, such a chaotic. The bird ugh, went on a range, so I guess you can't drive birds in fucking North Druid Hills. I guess it, you just can't do that. I need to get a scooter, because that thing was amazing. Um, we almost got, we did get here on time, but I had to call it the black car. That was 15 bucks <laughs> for a two second ride because it was surging and because the Uber Black was cheaper than the Uber X. All in all, a win is a win, I think. I think a win is a win. I've been working on this whole, like, on time, thing, you know, being places, especially because I think I got into a habit of just not being places when I'm supposed to be places, or like at the right times. So I want to get out of that habit. It's just, really, it's just hard, just the fucking ADHD. So when I was leaving, Keep in mind, I was leaving, you know, it was an hour, maybe 15, 20 minutes early before I was supposed to be here. I thought I had time to go to Linux, like Linux Mall. If you know Atlanta, you know Atlanta. I thought I had time to go to Linux Mall. I thought I had to go time. I thought I had time to go to Atlantic Station, H&M, and switch out these clothes. I was gonna go to two different places within an hour and a half before I had to be here at North Druid Hills at work. I Googled it and I was like, oh wait, if I leave for like home now, if I leave home now to go to work, like right now and don't go to these two places, on the bus, I'm still gonna be late. How do you, on the bus, I'm still gonna be late. So I was like, oh, we definitely don't have time to do anything else. But the bird starts biking with, with the fastest route. So I was like, let's jump on a bird. So basically, <laughs> I'm trying to say is that it's fucking hard with my time and my ADHD to get things right. And at the same time, I almost got it today. I almost got it. And honestly, if it wasn't for that freaking stupid bird, then I would have been here on time and everything would have been Gucci, but of course, the universe has to. Uh. So, just like that, my mood is kind of crashing. And now it's been up and down like all fucking week, all fucking day. As y'all see, like, it was kind of, I mean, I was, it's fucking adrenaline almost. Like, I was on a high earlier because, I don't know, I was getting ready to go to work. I was kind of making it, I was kind of doing the right shit. Like, you know, the whole late, not being late, kind of being late thing. Like that shit gave me dopamine. It was like a head rush. And now it's, it's just not even a big deal. Like I knew it was coming, but I worked super hard to get like the funds to pay for the place that I'm staying at, right? And the way I have it set up is that I can pay the dude weekly. So I'm gonna pay him like for this week and pay him for next week, right? I have the money. That's the great thing, right? I have the money for the first time forever, you know? Pay him like seven hundred something dollars, whatever it is. Two weeks to stay. Um, or it's for so do seven hundred minus two weeks. I tell you it's like four hundred it's like three hundred something dollars a week. That's what I'm trying to say. I have it. But bitch, I can't fucking remit the payment. As in like my bank account, I've tried to cash app it. It says failed, stops it. It doesn't send it because it's like We've stopped this payment for your protection. Okay, dudes. You won't stop like fucking. You won't stop a payment from being taken out, though. Okay. Then I tried to look for a Regions Bank so that I could send it to my business bank account. Like get cash out from Regions, put it up into my business bank account so I can make it like a business type of like transaction so I could write it off in my taxes. Couldn't find a Regions Bank. I told the guy like I was gonna pay him on Friday, while I'm sure he would be very like understanding of me paying him like tomorrow or the next day or whatever like bitch at this point it's like you kind of see me he wants his money just like anybody else would want his money like you know um and it's also like for me i have like set out something to do this and it means like honoring my word as someone who has made me drop the ball on more than several occasions in the past few years but not meaning like i didn't mean to shit just came up but shit comes up for everybody we all got shit going on Point being is that honoring my word is really important for me these days. Because that's all I have, <laughs> literally. So like I want shit. So like I want to pay him today, today. Like I said, I was going to. So I'm walking to the fucking ATM to get some cash because I tried to sell him. You know, after trying to find a, after trying to take out cash, I'm trying to cash out. I don't want to do anything that's gonna like put the money into like a transfer like situation where it's like being held in the fucking sky. <laughs> Um, and digitally and all that shit. I'm lucky the sale payment that I tried to send didn't take the money out of my account and then hold it. They just blocked it and like, yeah, we're not, we're not sending this right now. I called them. They were like, yeah, we're not open right now. You gotta call us back during like 
business hours, which is a sliver of time tomorrow. So I have a call tomorrow morning if this doesn't work out with cash. Because they're not open right now. <laughs> and just getting that whole process was a whole ordeal because I had to call them. Then I was told, like, oh, I could chat with them online. And then the chat people were like, oh, no, you can't chat with us. You have to call us or go into a branch. And it's fucking Friday night. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. But then it was like, oh, it's also Columbus Day weekend, bitch. So I don't even know if I can get this fucking money right now. And it's just like, my mood, it's crashing my mood. And I don't want it to crash my mood. Cause it's like, at the end of the day, it's like, bitch, you have the money, you know you have the money. It's not that you don't have it. But it's like, it's one thing after the fucking next. So now I'm walking and I was already not feeling great. Like, my mood is, was already dropping, besides this money bullshit crap, blah, blah, blah. Like, yes, I'm super happy to be out of my dad's place, like on my own-ish again, making money again, being out here. It's different than how it was, because I'm not making over $100,000, bitch. <laughs> I, there is no like real cushion. Like This money that I'm about to give this man, it's like all the money, I, not all the money I have, but, like, it's all the money I have except for a few dollars that I can use for food and for like transportation and shit. Until basically until next payday. It's paycheck to paycheck, but like real paycheck to paycheck. And I'm here for it. This is what I wanted. Not what I wanted, but I wanted to like fucking get out here and just do what needs to be done. Because that's what needed to be done. I couldn't like wait. Basically I couldn't stay at my dad's house and like have that with my fall back and home super comfortable. I had to challenge myself to push myself out of where I was. So for instance, a month ago, I couldn't pay $300 a week in rent. I, like I couldn't, I, would, I just didn't have it. I would have money at sometimes and I would have money at not at sometimes. Sometimes I'd have a thousand bucks, other times I'd have two pennies and I couldn't even pay for more. It just depends <laughs> on the fucking time of the year. But now I'm getting, I forced myself by getting up, moving, Literally forcing myself, because otherwise I'll be homeless, bitch. I figured out. <laughs> and that's what I've been wanting to do. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I felt like I needed to do. Like this trajectory at this point in my life. I hope I don't sound like I'm breathing too heavy. Because I am. Because I'm talking and walking fast. I guess it's just, it's just, it's just, it's hard out here. It's hard out here and I'm feeling the effects. But I'm also happy. I actually need to like slow my roll, recenter and focus, realize why I'm out here, what I'm out here to do, realize that, put the goals on the board, visualize them and manifest them because I didn't move back, shit, wrong way. I didn't move back to the city. Like I did not move back to the city to go out with friends and go out to bars, go drinking and get fucked up and go hooking up with people. That's not why I moved back. <laughs> Being down here now, and I'm out here like in these streets and I see everything and like, yeah, bitch, I really wish I didn't work. I teach swimming um, part-time. I teach swimming this coming weekend, all weekend. Like that's not normal for me. I'm not used to working on weekends. In fact, I'm not used to working when I don't want to work. <laughs> like it's either I've been freelance and I can work when I want to work, I can pick the projects I want to do, or I was salaried at a corporate job and I didn't have to work weekends. Like, what is this? That sounds super fucking privileged to you know that it comes out my mouth. But like, I, I'm literally struggling with that because it's like, bitch, you have to, like, you're still not working because if you don't work, bitch, you don't get paid. And y'all know if we don't get paid, I can't live where I'm living. So I'm just, I'm processing all of the shit. All of the shit.